Thank you, Madam President. First, uh, I would like to thank reporter Mr. Desteki on behalf of United European Left Group for bringing it this important topic before the Council. This report is very critical as it calls six member states to action that have not yet ratified the Rome Statute and affirmed their commitment to ICC. Turkey had made a promise to ratify the statute after implementing it into national legislation in 2002 and 2004. However, although Rome statute crimes were included in national legislation, the statute still remains unsigned by Turkey to this day. ICC can be a very effective institution for universal jurisdiction against war crimes and crimes against humanity. However, the court is not capable of playing this important role right now. Nationals of member states which have not ratified the statute are immune to any investigation and prosecution. Since there wasn't a Security Council referral, we could not even expect the office of the prosecutor to have jurisdiction over crimes against humanity and war crimes carried out by many countries. Moreover, the sad truth is that the leaders and the nationals of NATO member states and their allies will probably never have to answer in an international court for the perpetrations of their military. We all know that the liberal interventionist drive is not safe from political and economic relations. Otherwise, those who branded Slobodan Milosevic as the butcher of Belgrade would also react for folks in Syria and Iraq and for Kurds in Turkey who witnessed war crimes. If the ICC Office of the Prosecutor was to investigate crimes against humanity in war of Syria, I really wonder who is going to take responsibility? Will those who mistreated the refugees, those who supplied war weapons, or those who smuggled oil also be held responsible for the crimes they committed. The need to strengthen an independent judicial institution is urgent. However, we should assure that this court has the power to work independently. Otherwise, politically motivated war crime indictments will have no benefit to humanity but covering the crime itself. Finally, I would like to re-emphasize the importance of the call to action made in the report, invite member states to ratify the statute, which have not yet done so. I ask all member states to ratify the Kampala amendments and invite all members to vote in favor of the report. Thank you.